this. They won't double skull. <laughs> Rip me. Robbie's gonna blitz. <laughs> no, the ball's God damn it. <laughs> well, okay, I think we found our clip to the bench. Alright, if he's with the ball, he's if, scoring if, Yeah, but if this is yeah, just doing some big damage. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone? Uh, good evening and welcome to the Lion and Bear Report. I am Space Lion. I'm Kodiak. And we're here with week five action. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Hello, hello. I already have some breaking news, so I think that's spoilers for next week's recap. Uh, Chap did alright in week five. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, speaking of week five, how was your week five in Rebel, uh, Cody? Um, yet another tie. Um, this time, time against dwarves. Um, you know, it was it was fine. Uh, it was it was one of the closer to a wins ties I've had. Um, I had a mm. double skull on a blitz to basic to hit the ball carrier on t my turn eight for their like uh, their uh you know attempt mm. to score back after i had scored yeah and it yeah just double skull <laughs> put my guy in the ground and he was able to get around even a push would have pushed him out of range oh man so it was that was frustrating but on the other hand um yeah team's still good so yeah onwards yeah, yeah. and i'm now entering my two weeks in a row playing other nurgle like the oh, mirror matches God. so i'll get to see how that feels so you go from playing a slow uh slow slow team to playing two slow slow teams that look just like yours yes <laughs> no lower tv like i'm currently giving up like 400 in tv in new smets to their guy which for nurgle mm. i feel good about yeah yeah that's uh, what are they gonna have to do with that yeah um yeah that, well that's different than feels like this division is uh yeah. with all the agility in the world yeah um Nice. And did you have uh, any clan matches this week, or is that next week? Uh, no, that's every other week. So we just got our new assignments. Um, I'm going up against, uh, I think, a Chaos team. Mm. And so what, uh, I'm, pl I'm playing Nurgle and clan. Yeah. So I'm playing Nurgle and both. So what's, yeah, that's... What's the clan matchup? Uh, it's like IICBL or something. Oh, jeez. Gone are the days of Bash and Foul. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I mean, we're blitz, so like that's fine. But yeah, I don't, I don't, know, what that, I don't know what that's yeah. all about. Yeah, yeah. Everyone got to get fancy. Uh, well, speaking of fancy, uh, we have a new team in our division. That's true. And that's the first match of the week. Oh, Inner Circle Blood Bowl League. Okay, that's a little less. I mean, if it's named for something Blood Bowl League, then yeah, I guess. Inner Circle Blood Bowl League, yeah, okay. It's not like Icy Light or something like that. Sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's let's take a look at our first match of the week. In which and yeah, we... that just is, yeah, this, we get our first look at our new team. Yeah, Ace, Ace Trucking Co. Uh, 
joining 3B and going up against Wrath and Nuffle, uh, Quicks and Cullen. Uh, yeah, and I, I believe uh, Ace Chugging Code that was 2B last uh, last season, yeah. and he okay, right. like was going to sit out the se season because he was like couldn't be here for the early part, something like that. Yeah, yeah. But then when there was an opening, got talked back into uh, somehow met up and got in. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think it was looking to get back in, but just, yeah, early on, uh, had some family stuff that they were dealing with. Um, but yeah, they're back and coming in with one chorf blocker that was not in the match, but two other really nice ones. Uh, sorry, three other really nice ones. Oh no, that's a hobgoblin. Jesus Christ. There's um, there's a lot of nice pieces on this team, and they're kind of spread out. Yes, it's interesting that, like what, like you're saying, there's a very impressive Hobgoblin, um, who you normally don't think of being impressive, but like that's yeah. that's actually a nice piece. Rackle, Frenzy, like, yep. that piece can do a lot, and it's also a piece that you can kind of like hide a bit. Now, mm -hmm. it does mean that you, you, you can't use him to hide other things behind. But Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, and you have that one, and you have Ball Carrier Hobgoblin. Jeez. That's, very nice yeah geez um and uh yeah so i uh yeah so <laughs> i don't know how many i think the people that are happy about this team coming into the division are the ones that already uh had to play or got to play the orcs or uh, uh or had a had a bye week in my case um but uh i think my team has a death wish so this would have been an interesting matchup um, yeah as it is uh this is their first match and coming in uh to face cullen who had just faced off against arabi and other chorfs uh and i don't think they were expecting this one so a little bit of a uh a little bit of a mean surprise yeah well it meant he couldn't build up like a bench again and things yeah. like that yeah 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 but he did buy he did buy a beastman for this match oh is that red clown Oh wait, no, that wouldn't have been a red cloud. Oh, or... no, it was a San, uh, Sonata Yukimura, uh, because okay. that's like what the spot was in his list, because oh, gotcha. he didn't like shuffle things around. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. So that was new. Um, cause I think he was at 160k, and so he's like, well, I don't want to throw away the 10k, mm -hmm. and I want and I want the 50, so I can get myself the Bloodwiser Babe. So mm -hmm. go ahead and, and buy it. Um, and, and that didn't end up not, not being his problem, right? Like no, no, no. Yeah, I mean, this this one, I mean, the score says most of it, right? Like, this was a pretty, <laughs> like, there's definitely, like, we talk a lot about Arabi and how he plays Chorfs. Uh, I would say Quicks is not totally dissimilar, at least in this first, in, in, a, in one match sample here. Um, they were, um, they were pretty, pretty interested in the scrum. And in fact, I think I have a screenshot of one point. <laughs> yeah, so turn four, you had like, <laughs> this is like the whole, both teams like in this small squad, wow. uh, you know, quadrant of the pitch here, just all based up, all sorts of blocking opportunities and, uh, and you're like, wait, who has, or why, what? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and so, you know, as it stood, I'll go back to the stats. Um, yeah, like the first, the whole first quarter was just a bunch of scrums, uh, or a bunch of scrum and, uh, you know, blocking back and forth. Uh, Ace got some removals, uh, a badly hurt and a perm, and then a, and a KO as well. Uh, but they're leaving the ball open. Um, and uh, I think it was roughly just after that screenshot, like turn, f uh, they made a move to get upfield, but didn't have it very well screened off. Uh, and uh, Cullen was able to come around with a beastman and get a two die on the ball carrier, powed him, um, and badly hurt him. Um, Unfortunately, the way the Hobgoblin was pushed allowed for a scatter to land in the hands of uh, Mace, so the other good Hobgoblin just caught it, uh, so that Chaos was able to kind of find balance after after that, and they continued to get uh, removals. They got two more badly hurts, 
and another KO in just like two turns right after that sack. So it was just, it was, um, the score was almost predestined. Um, that said, they still left it open at one point, and um, there was a sack, but but no recovery, and um, Jeff, a., uh, the bull centaur, was able to pick it up and score with two turns. Um, so, like, picked it up and then scored the next turn. Um, so they went up one nothing on their drive, um, and then in the second half, it was at that point, because uh, Tina was already expelled um and uh obviously uh niederlander was out as well so there was it was nine to seven start of the start of the second half and um and and on turn nine actually spartacus died to to a blitz from um nine ball because nine ball was ridiculous like that that thing that piece, good piece. That piece was all over the place, casting stuff less than, left and right. Uh, I guess it, well, I guess not. I only got the one. It's pure kill. Like, sometimes yeah. you see, like, you know, oh, guard or stand firm or something, like, to, to round it out. No, it's just a legend, and it's all built for killing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it yeah, it was, it was just terrifying to watch that, obviously, everything that Quick's built around their their drive and, and on their defense was around getting nine ball. Uh, a hit, whether it was jump up or a blitz. Uh, the movement up also helping with that, right? Um, so, yeah, so Nine Ball gets, uh, I believe they got the death on Spartacus, which got appoed into the Niggle, um, which was unfortunate. That's a nice, I mean, what, the youngest Chaos Warrior, or at least like least skilled Chaos Warrior, but still uh, uh, something that's going to hang around. For, uh, for the rest of its life um, and that you know I think that would have like been pretty frustrating especially after the first half and I I did see like Cullen actually s stayed pretty calm and actually like managed to stall this out uh, I thought after that so like they would be they were at 9-6 at that point on t on their turn 10 mm -hmm. They managed to get it all the way down to at least turn 15 if not turn 16 um, Just by like skirting around the sidelines like almost like daring quicks to just commit to the scrum which they did um, And just had the ball safely tucked away near the end zone for pretty much the whole second half um so it wasn't it yeah it wasn't too eventful after after the apo came out uh just a lot of again blocks back and forth um and the the chaos uh claw mighty blow is not firing at all uh at least it didn't did not feel like it compared to how ace trucking was doing <laughs> uh so yeah i think um it was, yeah, it was an interesting match, and uh, yeah, I was impressed that Colin was able to kind of uh, drag that out, because I think I would have been tempted to just, like, fear for my team's life and score when I had a chance, and they, uh, it, it, yeah, they didn't, they didn't blink and, uh, and stayed, stayed with it to kind of keep the draw in sight, because I, I do think if they had scored early enough, they would have been run over just with being at like six pieces max maybe uh mm -hmm. i guess ko's might have come into a uh, factor then but yeah it was uh but quintessential bash more or less uh, just didn't quite play out uh in chaos's favor as far as that casualty spp only only one casualties for, uh, casualty for them mm -hmm. so yeah so a uh uh, I don't know. Uh, an introduction to Ace Truck and Co. Uh, I think for all of us, as far as just how much of a menace they're going to be. Yeah, one Spartacus will not forget. Yeah, 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 for sure. And uh, yeah, if you're going to go toe to toe with them, it's it's probably going to be painful. Yeah, seems like it. Cool. All right, moving on to our second match. Yeah. The Romanian Rebels uh, taking it to dead and scoring it. 
Uh, yeah, obviously a big win here. Uh, just in terms of the, the magnitude of the uh, uh, that 3-0. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this one. Um, yeah, so un the, uh, the um, Dark Elves uh, start out on offense by choice of uh, the Undead. Uh, which makes sense, bashing against agility. Um, you mm -hmm. see Sinbad, the the stab guy. Mm -hmm. um, he and his knife take the field for the defense, um, and Hack waits on the sideline. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the elves basically open up. They're targeting Vetha, that um, white that has mighty blow and tackle, because mm -hmm. it's the scariest piece to them. Yeah. Uh, and turn two, he takes a KO, oh. uh, and that really makes it hard for the undead to push back at them much. Um, and you end up with the dark elves winning bash. Mm -hmm. uh, so wow. by the end of the first quarter, you've got that white and one of the ghouls in the KO box, and the other white uh, is only in the reserves because his regen uh, saved him from a badly hurt. Uh -huh. um, and the elves are at full strength. Um, second quarter, it, it kind of evens out a bit with some el uh, KOs going to the elves, but it's on like kind of lousy pieces, like pieces you don't care that much about getting off the field. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, with the whites off the field and that ghoul off the field, they're, like the elves can just outmaneuver. Um, yeah. the, the undead easily. Um, and and Sinbad and it spent most of the half uh, just lying on the ground stunned. <laughs> he gets like one good stab in. Oh um, my on gosh. An elf, and a lot of the time he's just lying there. Brutal. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So there's a uh, a dark elf double skull um, with the reroll already gone on turn seven as the mm -hmm. as the as the halves like get wearing on. And there's like a slim chance of the path towards the ball for the undead. So practical snow pops lightning bolt on the ball carrier. That's a one. Um, mm, and okay. so the elf score turn eight. Yeah. Um, for their have neither the so uh, the, the, the the responding turn eight. Um, we actually almost see hack have to take the field, but there's just enough because the chaos <laughs> fail for the undead. But there's <laughs> just enough pieces that he's like the one thing on the sideline. Yeah. Um, in the reserves box, um, dark elves get theirs back, which is just nice because it means they take the incoming line hits. Um, but um, and they in fact, uh. And in fact, Undead attempts to make a one-turn attempt um, very well. Oh, um, nice. They, they use that nice move-up sidestep ghoul, which is like mm -hmm. really, actually actually pretty good at that. Mm. Um, and they get all the pushes they need, but there's a pass to him. Reroll gets used on the to make the pass work, so, but then he fails to catch. Uh, and he fails to catch because he was in a tackle zone. So if like the last <sighs> push had been down in addition to yeah. just the push, would have got him. But, so that was rough. Um, next half, um, like I said, the Undead Chaos hadn't worked. This time, at least, Vaitha comes back. Uh, mm -hmm, so that's mm -hmm. you know, that's nice. Um, the, the Ghoul stays out, but it's just Bone Stalker. just has block. You get that's very survivable. Um, so the question is, you know, it's 1-0 at this point. How do the, the Elves score twice when it's the Undead Drive? Mm. Uh, so the first one of those... Um, so Orpher gets the, a nice use of a perfect defense where he's able to swing some, like, key pieces... Um, like the really inconvenient, like blodge step stuff. One with tackle, one with diving tackle over to the right side of the field, mm. which is where the ball was kicked to. And there's not a lot of undead. And so he can basically open up a path for himself to run around uh, behind. Um, ultimately, actually on his turn when he tries to do that, he snake eyes a GFI. <laughs> and so the undead kind of kind of able to get together, but they're separated a bit. Um, and uh, it, it, the, there ends up, he basically ends up having a problem with, uh, the undead that have a problem where um, they have to make a loose cage um, at one point thanks to their own failed GFI by a zombie mm. and the witch elf with uh, agility increase just like runs on it <laughs> yeah I'm sorry the uh, I guess it's a move up oh yeah uh, no, no, no 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 there's one there is one with an agility increase there's one with an agility oh increase. yeah they have them uh, yeah, there's like order. how they're ordered. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yes, yes. I, I, I remember correctly. Yes. Yeah. So the the agility up witch elf just like gets right in there, um, gets him down on the one die, eats the reroll to avoid a skull, but like gets him down. So good enough. Mm. Um, and then the ball like scatters to a mummy on a cage corner, who obviously doesn't catch it. Oh, um, wow. It scatters it outside the cage. So the other witch elf mm. was like. Cool. Sweeps around, picks it up, hands it off to a guy. There's actually a couple of blitz, and he just like you know, over the course of turns starts moving to like try to score. They're actually yeah. able to get a couple of blitzes on him, but one of them it's like he's at like the edge of this screen, so when he gets pushed backwards, they can't like surround him. Right? Mm -hmm. It was like they just got the one hit, and he has dodge. Um, it was one of the blitzers, I think. Yeah, probably uh, forlorn, forlorn hope too. Oh like yeah, that was to probably the, it. Two of the TDs, yeah. yeah. Um, and so yeah, he just like, keeps on his feet thanks to dodge because they're not able to get like tackle at him good. Um, yeah. And so yeah, he he eventually scores. That's two zero. That's that's turn thirteen. And at that point, you know, Dark Elves have won the match. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's like, well, 
how did, how did this like become three zero? Um, they had, basically the problem Undead had was that they put all their resources into trying to get the game to be a tie, right? To have it not go two zero, and that meant all their re rolls. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so they don't have any re rolls left for this last push. Oh. Uh, and then once the line hits, uh, Oswald, the, uh, the the quote unquote hero, uh, double skulls, uh, <laughs> <laughs> puts him down. The Jeez. ball is unprotected. It's like a ghoul like in the vicinity, but yeah. <laughs> like it's yeah. like it's a sign on the ground. Elves stream through. <laughs> Yeah, um, they don't get it that turn, but they get in a position where like they're clearly going to end up getting it, and undead just is ending the match. They're turn sixteen. They're just like fouling stuff, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> like they're right. just doing their hits. They're doing their foul. They're just trying to ho hopefully do some damage. They don't get anything good out of it, obviously. Um, and the elf scored three uh, turn sixteen. Mm, gotcha. Wow. Just yeah, yeah. I mean, you can kind of see it in ball possession, yeah. even. Just like <laughs> an opponent's yeah. at forty three percent. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, like the two, that was the two turns that that ghoul on that like that's like that second quarter attempt. Yeah, uh, they just have the ball before the witch elf went in, and then after that it was just yeah. yeah. Now the elves are just gonna keep coming at you. Jeez. Oh yeah, and Snow Sane hack was thrown out first foul. <laughs> oh yes, that's one on the bribe. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I forgot to mention that. Uh, yeah, hack got. It. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hack first foul, immediately ejected, um, and he's a little expensive, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm, he's like mm -hmm. he's like 120k. It was a foul on I think Eldrin, or it was on one of the 130k pieces. Oh, um, yeah. I remember that, and yeah. it's like, <sighs> and he got that yeah. he got KO'd. Just like, well, on the, it was like yeah. on the second Dark Elf drive, and it came back for the third. <laughs> so, God, yeah, Hack, Hack is a jerk, uh, uh, and yeah, hello. But, to Hiroto, who's joining us for a moment before heads off to play uh, their match uh, All right. against console. Uh, yes, hi, hi Orifer. Um, yeah, Hack's a jerk. It's fine. They got sent off. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's. But yeah, it was. That I, I, I think just like, some, some really good targeting of like that, like that those key pieces by uh, Gallus um, and obviously Orifer. Mm. Um, to like just get pieces off the field that might have let undead respond to anything the dark elves were doing. Yeah, yeah. And at that point, it was just it was just they just kept kept kicking, them, just like kicking him around. Yeah. So yeah, congrats on the win to him. Yeah. Yeah, very exciting. Uh, I mean, keeps on winning. Uh, oh, well, let's move on to our third match. Which is <laughs> um, another one where it should be like, hmm, how did this one end up four to one? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Uh, I'll tell you what I remember, um, and that was that the um, God that I th yeah I thought maybe maybe I could do I can handle the rats. I couldn't handle the elves. Maybe the rats. Nope, can't do that. Um, so that's gonna be. Uh, Six losses in the bag. <laughs> this is a this is a lousy division for you. Uh, your team your team is massively like... better at the agility side of hybrid. Mm, yeah. And normally you win games as hybrid by playing the opposite style of the people you're playing against. Yeah. 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 And you're like only okay at that. <laughs> I don't know what. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna. Uh, but yeah, folks are pointing. I'll have a new excuse when you start losing to the bash teams. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, folks in chat pointing out or thanking me for Stormy Daniel. Um, that was the one moment that I do remember, which was... Um, it was a surf, right? It was a surf, and Console uh, was was pretty frustrated because they set themselves in that position. Uh, this was after... So they had scored. I, I kicked off to them. And they scored in a relatively quick manner. I tried to get a counter score, and... Uh, Got wizarded, uh, got wizard did. Um, actually managed to recover from the wizard a little bit, but then failed to uh, dodge out with my thrower uh, of a tackle zone a little later on. The ball scattered right at the foot of uh, Gutter Runner and nobody else, and uh, that was that for this first half. So at that point, uh, I didn't have any way of like. You know, the gutter runner got it to another gutter runner, and that was pretty much that. They started stalling for a moment. Um, and there was Stormy Daniel, two squares away from the sideline. 
and I had an oaf right by the sideline and I said yes please um, and so I yeah I think I even passed up passed up on an early knockdown to just go for the push and just like try to get him out and ended up dead apo dead <laughs> and felt a little bad about it but also uh it yeah. felt pretty exciting to be able to i think that was my first surf of the season yeah <laughs> and boy howdy uh did that uh did that be a be a good one so um obviously the rest of the match was just a hogwash of uh, I'm sure there was a one-turn touchdown in there somewhere. I mean, Stanton did class him up too, scored twice, and um, yeah, it was it was just a mess. I was happy to get a score on Bingbury Cobbler. Uh, getting another skill there just means mighty blow because I am in full uh, carnage chaos mode. I think at this point in the yeah. season. Well, and like I said, you know, you need to be a little more bashy. <laughs> of course you're going to go on of course you're going to go on to like now you are going to go on to the bash teams and yeah <laughs> it'll be I'm too late like, oh god yeah too late so yeah console played really well um and uh yeah there wasn't much i could do other than yeah i beat up uh oh jalapeno jalapeno poppers i think they were pretty frustrated by it too that's also disappointing yeah, yeah. that's a piece that like is going to take a you know a higher percentage of hits than mm -hmm. like other lineman builds yeah. and to have it be armor busted is i don't know you can get rid of him because he's got two doubles yeah i think you i don't think you can i think you just let well i don't know because that's one of them is like stand next to people true Skills. and frankly both of them are standing and like that's why the dodge is there really yeah. is less for the mobility i think though it's nice for that than for i could stand next to people and not immediately die and yeah. that's that's been hurt <laughs> I was, yeah, I was targeting that piece. Uh, it took me like a, into the second half to get it, but uh, yeah, that was that was a good one. Um, so yeah, uh, it sounds like Hiroto's playing them next, uh, so they will. I don't know what the. I guess we'll see the inducement, what the inducement possibilities there as far as TV differential, but they are going to be down. Yeah, a gutter runner that that doubles line rat and uh, storm vermin. Yeah. Though I guess they don't have enough to replace the Storm Vermin. Uh, yes. Presumably. So, yeah. Uh, all right, let's move on. Uh, yes, that Storm Vermin has already been replaced. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so we'll see that on the, on the sheet. Uh, next up, we have Squeaky Blinders and Integrity Farmers. Uh, this was the other tie for the week. I don't think we had any others. Um, and I mean, speaking of inducements, uh, <laughs> squeaky planners got quite a bit here. Um, but I will say, and I'll, I'll go through this, but like, didn't get much for that. Didn't get much for that 410. Um, so yeah, so for the, uh, the story of the first quarter, the elves just score, they, I think wanted to be on defense, um, they scored pretty quickly within three or four turns. Um, oh, later, Hiroto. Good luck in your game. Um, and didn't do much damage. There wasn't much damage on either side, though Hackflum was KO'd uh, for that drive, and I think out for the whole first half. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so that was pretty much the first quarter. The second quarter, the Skaven actually struggled... Uh, to get up field, even though they managed to get uh, a two-piece advantage going with uh, on the high elves. Um, oh, on turn four of their drive, they actually um, there was a badly hurt on Arthur Colby the third, and that is that was when the apo came out. They actually apoed Arthur Colby back in mm. um, to be ready for the second half. I guess uh, felt it definitely felt aggressive. Maybe necessarily so. Uh, it's your nicest piece uh, with Finn Colby being out, but, mm -hmm. but felt definitely felt scary. Yeah. Um, with uh, a mighty blow tackle piece on the other side, um, but yeah, the High Elves do pretty good on defense. They um, <laughs> tackles the They uh, it wasn't in this case actually True Blue, and you should know this. This was your team. Um, 
the the yeah, so they they screen things off pretty well. The rats had a chance, but the uh, high elves uh, managed to leap into the cage on turn seven and knock the ball out. Um, the rats recovered it, but they couldn't get off sidestep uh, tackle uh, one of them. I don't know if it was Lord A or McBooger Balls or whatever. But like uh, they had a they had a lot of problems with sidestep in that first half. Like uh, uh, True Blue was good about sticking that in places near where the ball carrier was and or or right on it. And uh, the rats didn't have like a good solution for it. They kept trying to hit it down, but they didn't have tackle uh, around because uh, Arthur Colby was out, and I'm not sure where Grace Colby was at. Um, so they yeah they actually fail on turn eight to dodge to to do a two plus dodge out of tackle they didn't have any rerolls left and uh, so we go into the half uh, one uh, one nothing in favor of the high elves um, but the numbers are more on the side of the rats uh, you can kind of see it on the armor breaks <laughs> from thirty nine blocks you had mm -hmm. nineteen breaks for the rats um, and so into the second half we're at eleven v eight. Uh, in favor of the Skaven, and it just keeps that that train keeps rolling into the into that second half. So three KOs and one dead in the first two turns for the like the the Skaven inflicting that on the High Elves. Uh, so the High Elves pretty much just seed the score. Uh, Skaven score pretty quickly to make it one one, um, and then the High Elves set up for just like a quick one turn with Captain Zoom. They actually fail the catch. I thought I thought this was gonna happen. I thought like they'll do a quick one turn, that'll be the two one, and then the rats will score to tie it up. Mm -hmm. They actually yeah, they uh, Captain Zoom fails the catch. Maybe yeah, maybe that's uh I yeah, it was snaked. And um, the rats take it upon themselves to go straight after Zoom. Um, and uh, badly hurt him. But uh, True Blue, I think rightfully, uh, appos him uh, in order to get... Oh yeah, if you if you got... Right, True Blue's saying if they got both one turns, they'd win 3-2. Uh, yeah, I forgot how like the turn order would allow for that. Um, but yeah, they, they appo zoom uh, with just kind of the anticipation of, well, if we can't score now, we're going to need them for turn 16 to do... A one turn at the end, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and that's how it turned out. The Skaven were able to recover after taking out Zoom, um, and there was like four elves left on the pitch. So the uh, so they yeah the Skaven score on their turn sixteen, and then the high elves just barely <laughs> score with Captain Zoom on their turn sixteen. Uh, they were helped by uh, a kick out of bounds, so they were able to just toss it right to him. But he still was like. Almost, almost snaked it away, uh, but got in and got on the tie. But the wizard, the wizard never came out. Was what I was alluding to at the start of this. Wizard never came out. I never really noticed Hackflum except for when he was KO'd for half the half the game. Um, and then obviously AV8 is a total lie. The, those were <laughs> those were my uh, overall observations. Interesting. So yeah, it was. I think it was a pretty, pretty interesting match. I I wasn't mm -hmm. really sure how that second half was going to play out. I thought I had it figured out, but uh, yeah, did not come together uh, quite like that. Yeah. So yeah, I thought yeah, both teams. I mean, Random X was definitely like pushed their advantage when they were trying to get uh, removals, but yeah, uh, I think True Blue did pretty well on defense to like. Kind of keep mm. it. <laughs> he didn't have to. Right, right. Yeah, there were a lot of pals, uh, and again, a lot of breaks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Frustrating, I'm sure. All right. Sounds like it. Moving on to our next match. <laughs> Rebel Rage Quit and Goblins. Deck. Uh, I saw a little bit of the stream. Um, but I think I think the tail of the tape is really on the sheet. See if you can spot it. Forty-five armor breaks. That's a lot of armor breaks. 
That's and only two casualties. Yeah, that's incredible. Are you so kidding me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I I watched a little bit of the stream and it just felt like. Um, it, was just, it was just stuns all the time. Stun, yeah, been, right? Well, KOs. A lot of KOs. But only um, nine out of 45. Yeah, I mean, stuns. Um, so there had to have been, like, you know, uh, <laughs> if you just, just do the math, like 30 some uh, stuns. Well, I mean, also, remember the math includes every single pile on. So, like, if you, true, if true, you get the true. armor break at the start and the second. And well, I, and yeah, and it could be weird with a Rob because he'll, like, pile on KOs. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, right? Yeah, it's really hard to, uh, yeah, see the full truth in the numbers, but you can see it on the injury chart. Like, there's it was, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Tim did great keeping, like you said, the good pieces away. You just had rigging runner die, which like a dead uh, MVP. You will take that if that's the only thing you're coming <laughs> out of a Robbie match. Yeah, as far seriously. As, as far as negatives. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that is one hundred percent fine. You 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 came in. You have your you know. I think you probably dropped to like one hundred fifty k instead of one sixty, maybe. But like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you've got plenty of money to buy that lineman back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, whereas, like the damage on this side, like it's like, oh, Jimmy B has been fired now because yeah. he's he's pointless, and right. Orabi is not. I mean, AG, you know, his AG being down isn't awful. Yeah. No, but it's. Yeah, without because it's not like the, he's, he's just out for a week. So. Right. Yeah, this isn't uh, the other turf blocker that's a nightmare on Quix's team. What nine ball? Uh, that one has jump up and agility bust. You still wouldn't fire him, but it would be annoying. It would be right. annoying to have that. Yes, the other choice was dead. Yeah, this was definitely an easy apo choice. I think for Robbie, uh, I think they very clearly said. <laughs> they, uh, Arabi is the heart of Arabi's team here, um, and uh, yeah, if that if that piece perished, I think it would be. I don't know what kind of uh, play we would see from Arabi going forward mm -hmm. at that point um, to get through the end of the season, but they would definitely be re-rolling if that was the case. Yeah, makes sense. <sighs> Oh, he appoed it when it was going to be an apple or an agility bus. Hmm. Yeah, maybe speculatively hoping for jump up. I don't know. Or just get him in for the rest of the match if it if you can get to oh, a no cast, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And have him for like the rest of this match and the and next, next one. Match. But... Yeah, it was basically an M and G that he did not want to have because yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that, that would be my interpretation. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Grum Gully the generous gets a level. Goblin Pile Driver gets a level. Inspired by Arabi gets piling on. <laughs> that's that's a really interesting choice though with the uh, the niggling injury too. But I don't yes. know what. I mean, yeah, yeah, I don't know. You don't, yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. That's interesting. I don't know if I would have done that. But it is scary. Yes. Um, and I'm I trust Tim to like figure out a way to like make. So, make the that piece safe when he does the piling on. Yeah, I'd, I'd say tackle would have been the other, like as Tim said in chat. Um, that tackle would be the other thing to consider. But I mean, like I don't have piling on mighty blow on my team. Like I miss it sometimes. There are definitely times where like you want to be able to just go after that piece and really, really try to get it off the field. Yeah. And uh, you know that can be nice, and you know that piece will be good at it. Yeah. Yeah, but I think. Uh... Yeah, kind of like we said at the top, uh, Robbie with all the breaks, but uh, sustained more casualties than the rats. Um, yeah. With uh, both bull centaurs going out different parts uh, of the match with badly hurts, um, and a Robbie and uh, Keras or Keras, uh, the badly hurt, and yeah, so just hasn't been coming together well i when it has it has and when it hasn't it hasn't uh i think it's been the story of a robbie and pretty much every bash team in this division mm -hmm. uh yeah that's true uh tim that uh pylon will get him spp faster than tackle would oh yeah yeah it's not with all these different uh injuries on here i was losing track of what level it was but with the spp you can see it uh, they'll have one more 
reasonably close level to get before the legend level. Yeah. So, yeah, no, good looking win for Tim as he continues his climb up the ladder. Yep. Uh, next up is the illustrious Chad Zoo uh, taking on our name is Legion Farm Animals Mark II versus Talk Show Terror. Yeah, so one thing I'll mention here is Rabbit Mark III, that was new for this match. Um, he originally would have had some inducements, um, but mm. and he had 160k. So he went ahead and spent that to get himself a uh, you know an extra beastment, which yeah. sensible enough. I think that's better than like a Bloodweiser babe. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this match. Um, so I'm not doing like a full play by play on this, but we do have a clip, I think, uh, lined up. I don't know if that actually happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's there. Okay. So, all right. So yeah. Uh, so <laughs> Necro had the first drive. They scored on turn five. Um, they they weren't basically under too much pressure to stall any longer, and that's four turns for chaos, which can be enough, but it like also takes some work. Yeah. Um, and Necro is just down a couple zombies at this point, mm. so th which mm. is to replace from the bench. Hmm. So they have their full team out there, and they're able to screen well. And Chaos is really slow to advance. And uh, so turn eight, you know, they want to get in the end zone, but they face a very intimidating screen in front of them, um, and they aren't able to dismantle it because they attempt what they're trying to blitz with, which is a minnow, and it goes one on the wild animal check, <laughs> and so no blitz. Um, so this clip will be how they coped with that situation. Yeah, and fair warning, the audio on this is very. Um... The audio levels on this are pretty bad, so don't uh, you won't hear the game very high. Don't try to it, turn up your. Don't monitor. pump it up because then you'll, you'll get blown out. Yes, because then Chabzu, Chabzu's mic is very high. So. Level four. <laughs> short but sweet <laughs> um yeah that was that's pretty ridiculous <laughs> and yeah i mean so yeah that 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 got it to one one um and then just can't then uh chaps was able to score turn 16 uh yeah. for his second half drive yeah and like that's the match and you know he's not under pressure to score any faster right because well that'll get him the win mm -hmm. he's not trying to like mm -hmm. get to the tie in the tournament or anything so. Yeah, I mean, sometimes the werewolves, if they, yeah, I mean, the Claw Mighty Blow Werewolf doesn't seem like it was doing too much damage. I guess one one casualty. No. But that was the only one in the match, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so pretty pretty standard. Well, outside of, out of, outside of some luck there at the end. Uh, and the, the, the path then would have been easier if the minnow hadn't rolled that one. Mm. So it's like it's like you know, he had there would have been like that, that setback. That said, it's, it's a minotaur. Like, <laughs> boy, is it? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Well, yeah, and I'm sure we'll well actually we won't get to talk too much about this team for their preview because they've already played. But I'm yeah. looking forward to talking about their match from week six yeah once we get to that recap cool all right so that brings us to the last match of the week um broken bone battalion uh really taking it to warp stone and rock and roll the elf teams well i guess in this game and teams really like those high scoring numbers uh yeah we had this week we had the one tie we had one win by one point, two wins by two points, and then two wins by three points. Yeah. Uh, we actually had two ties. Cause, uh, oh, yes, you're right. Two ties, then the one win by one. Yeah. Two by two. Two by two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, Which is better because that adds up to seven. <laughs> yeah. Well, we yeah, we had a moment where we thought we'd just be at six matches a week. Um, and kind of kind of were for, for two of our recaps, so... Uh, but six is not the magic number. Uh, and yeah, so bring us to this match. Uh, the Underworld, like, I, I don't know if I feel like I feel bad for the Underworld both as a recapper, a lover of Blood Bowl, and as someone who coached Underworld for three seasons. Like, this is 
just got to be pretty frustrating. And this match seemed like quintessential for it. It's just like they can't. The Underworld could do couldn't buy a break. They really couldn't. Uh, and Super Base, as he's uh, been doing most of the season, and it's working out really well for him, has been playing a pretty aggressive game, and that worked out really well. Again, the the Underworld just couldn't buy a break. Um, first quarter, like uh, the story of the first quarter. Um, so the the Pro Elves. Uh, or the Underworld choose to kick to the Pro Owls, and uh, the Pro Owls start <laughs> out removing um, the Underworld. Um, they actually, da -da -da, well, they did get one KO uh, from Cutney Love. Cutney Love was all over the pitch the first quarter, but mm -hmm. they, uh, but um, the Pro Owls were able to foul and KO. Uh, uh, them before they cause too much trouble. Okay. Um, and like I said, they just got one KO, uh, and then they were KO'd. Uh, and then the the underworld casualties started piling up in the second quarter. Uh, Hurt Co Cobain was part of that. Um, without their uh, their Blitzer buddy, um, they got badly hurt. And then. Uh, yeah, a bunch of goblins obviously were harmed in the making of this three-one victory, yeah. um, and the, but they still managed to sack recovery on turn seven, uh, but couldn't do anything with it, and the owls were able to sack and recover and score um, to go up one nothing on their drive. The underworld um, uh, one turn attempt never really got off the ground because uh, they snake the pickup. Mm. Then they snake a bunch of KO rolls, um, and so start of the half, the Underworld are out six players, um, six players total. Like they have four casualties, two KOs, so they have seven players on the pitch versus eleven uh, pro elves. And I think mm. this is like a point to or a, a, a moment to point out like how. It's tricky when uh, Underworld don't have that inducement game be mm -hmm. because they don't. I mean, they have their bench, but they don't have like their bench and what they are hoping to get from a Nuffles altar or um, even just the inducement money that they have. They're generally pretty TV efficient, but um, these pro elves apparently are more so. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and so, start of the second half. Uh, yeah, the pro elves get a blitz, and that pretty much seals it. Uh, they get a blitz, they manage to get the ball and score pretty quickly, so it's two nothing. Uh, so essentially game set and match. Uh, though the underworld nearly get a two two, or like had a chance at a two two tie. They score, and then uh. On turn 15, when the Pro Elves were pushing up aggressively to get their third touchdown, they get a sack, but uh, their two-head Goblin couldn't dodge for shit and <laughs> just like falls <laughs> over and badly hurts himself. Uh, and that was yeah, so that was that. The Pro Elves managed to pick their levels on multiple touchdowns, as you can see. Tripwire Timothy getting a level. Um, oh no, that was the wait five. Oh man, they got that. Okay, so they must have caused a um, and uh, and sore throat, which getting that guard piece protection. So, but yeah, the blitz I think was the what sealed the game, and then you know things. I think super base super base played a little looser to try to get that third touchdown, which gave the underworld a kind of shot, just because they're underworld and they can kind of squeak through. But it was it was going to be tough, and they they couldn't pull it out. Uh, diving tackle did provide some more value in this one. Tripping up, uh, I think the the uh, move up runner who was trying to, to get in a good position, and uh, yeah, again, still, you know, hoping for the underworld to have a game where they they kind of click, but this was definitely not that. Yeah, I mean, it's a team. It's a team I love, but it's it's just, it's just it's on the weak side and. It needs a break, and it does not seem to gain it. Yeah, I think it could be, it can be frustrating for a coach who's like who won a bunch last season 
to come into the like you know what's the difference one season to the next is kind of a thinking a way of thinking like i can win you know and they competed i believe for playoff and challengers uh, mm-hmm. spot in tier four last season and then just to have it again nothing come together like the troll couldn't do anything armor breaks were not happening uh well they did but the um removals not as much so right yeah oh yeah they were part of that six-way tie in 4c so yeah so yeah had to come into the season with reasonable high reasonably high hopes especially given that they're kind of a bashy or you know they're kind of a hybrid team and uh you know should be able to hang with agility as well as bash and yeah not the way it's gone um so yeah with that being the last match of the week let's take a look at leaderboards yeah Uh, can start off right from the top and that straight line up up to the top with the remaining rebels yeah uh, still killing it yep yep um, and I'd say yeah broken bow battalion keeping pace um, Tim Nielsen putting together a nice streak uh, the past three weeks looks like uh, wins and uh, and yeah same for integrity farmers who's uh, kind of had up and down, but um, they're you know right in the mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they've fallen out of being one win out of first place, but they're mm-hmm. they're still up in there. Yep, yep, yeah. The tie hurt them a little bit. Um, Scurry Squad, um, they've really been up and down. I think they were what two wins and two losses, and then the big win yeah. against yep. me. Um, yeah. And Farm Mark Animals, who started out on two. And then just been winning since then. Yep, yep. So definitely people, if uh, Orpher slips, um, are in a position to come after him. And, of course, there's a real fight after second, third, and fourth place. Mm-hmm, um, and I'm, mm-hmm. I'm curious if we're, we, anyway, we, we, we see this sort of, like, line in the middle with the top half and a bottom like, yep. half. Yep. I'm curious to see, does that, like, does that go away or, you know, does that become more defined? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just a gap of, like, what, two points right there? Yeah, it's not very much. It's, it's you know... And if there was like a team in there, right? It would, it would you know, all you yeah. need is for Den and Scorian to get a win, and yeah, you know, Den just looks like a you know a big mass again. Right, right, right. But it is, um, yeah. I mean, like that is also like halfway between the top and the bottom. So yeah. I mean, yeah, <laughs> with yeah five straight wins, uh, Romanian Rebels is tough to going to be tough to catch. Um, and so, yeah, it will be more, I, you know, it will be interesting to see if, if folks from this, like, bat- bottom third uh, kind of have a rebound in the, well, we're almost at halfway through the season, right? Yeah, getting close. So, um, yeah, and with that said, I would say, like, if there are, we haven't done a whole lot of, like, dives into like season stats yet um i don't uh, i'm gonna look back through some of the stuff that i did last season to see if there's any in, anything interesting but if there's something that you all want to see as far as like how you know it, we can even do it like how has 3b compare uh doing compared to 3a and 3c um, as far as like competitiveness or like bashiness and deaths and that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, if there's something, some sort of research um, project or stats you want us to look at, let us know. Yep. And of course, we'll, we'll get into like division predictor stuff, all of that, mm. as, as we get to like probably the last third of the season. Yeah. I will always want that sooner rather than later. But yes, I think it's reasonable to hold off. <laughs> Well, also, I'm trying to figure out how to handle Ace Trucking Co. Because <laughs> like, oh. it, doesn't, it doesn't actually work smoothly with the program. So, yeah. that could huh. add a little bit of time. That's true. Um, hmm. All right. Well, yeah. Good luck. Good luck to us, then, figuring that out. Uh, cool. Well, let's, let's hop into previews, then, and yep. see how things are looking for week six. Time is flying by. Um, oh. <laughs> 
man. Yeah, f out of the frying pan into the fryer. Is that what they say? No. It's into fire. the fire. Yeah. <laughs> Two frying pans next side by side. Uh, yeah. Hopping from one to the other. Actually, that's probably a better metaphor. Um, yeah, Tim Nielsen, um, after his Arabi match, is going to have basically an Arabi match. Yeah, but it went fine last time. So, you know, so <laughs> What I mean, could go wrong? Well, well, more in the sense of, I mean, there's that, but also in the sense of he's got his full team for this, right? That's true. Yes. He's down with like what one lineman that he can afford to replace. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and you, though, maybe you don't, maybe you, maybe the hundreds better. You'd have to think about that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I would think about it. Um, uh, lineman or 50K? Lineman or 50K. I don't know. Yeah. You'd like to have, I don't, well, would you want to bribe against this team? Does it make sense to be fouling? I don't know. I don't know that it does. Yeah. I mean, you might you might do it, but you could also do the, like an extra pot carry. Oh. And it's okay. like, what's better? Is it the lineman to be able to soak damage, or is it um, because you don't have a dirty player? Like, if you wanted to foul, you could right. just like just get the line rat and yeah. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, foul yeah. with that guy. Yeah. Um, I, I would think more if you if you if you spend if you go for the hundred it's to have two shots of keeping stuff on the field. Yeah. Or more like a shot to keep something on the field and then a shot to save something. Yeah. Does seem like they're gonna But he's gonna buy it lineup, so Yeah. And yes, yeah, the the niggle on nine ball does make it make the foul tempting. I think I saw um Cullen take that. Uh, no, you definitely fell that guy if he hits the ground. If just yeah. to warn, if just to warn quick, so that he can't pile on every time. It didn't stop. It didn't change anything. But um, yeah, it is. It, it does make it a little tempting. Um, but like because nine ball is in the middle of everything, because that's just like it seemed like Quick's game plan is just like this one big angry mass of chorf with yeah. nine ball at the center. You just like you want to dodge that hurricane if you can yeah but yeah I, I mean obviously we can we can point to last week's win for goblins deck and say like they are capable of doing that so i think they yeah. can um good. i think it's a very winnable match for them it's, <laughs> it's, it's the it's the damage that you're worried about yeah 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 definitely so yeah I, uh, tim nielsen's played plenty of bash teams mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah, so this will be this will be fun to see. I can't remember if I if I have when this is playing down or not. I don't think so. So, um, yeah. Oh yeah, all the stand firm. It's, I can't believe that pulse center has stand firm too. Gosh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fun. Secretariat is an incredible piece. <laughs> yeah. So, so good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, quite a quite a few long lived pieces. It seems like. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right, moving on to our next match: Integrity Farmers versus uh, Talk Show Terror. Um, I'm surprised this one hasn't been played already. I feel like mm -hmm. True Blue's always like playing as soon as it rolls. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is. I mean, these are two teams that are kind of in the middle. A little bit yeah both looking for a win and not a tie i would say yeah um and i i don't know i think it i i i can actually see it being a tie but the the one turner makes it tricky too. the one turner makes it it leans i think in the direction of the high elves yeah yeah um yeah i mean even if I mean, I think I, yeah. In in the last match, we saw this. Like, even though the high elves were getting out removed, they had a chance. Uh, based on how the turns were structured, like they had a chance of doing a three-two victory with just a couple one turns, uh, and you know, with a bunch of elves being on the sideline. So I don't know that you can rely on removals unless you can get to Captain Zoom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I I don't know or or even I guess pimp butters but that that piece is a strong breeze kind of knocks that piece out 
Yeah. So. <laughs> and I'm, I'm curious if uh, True Blue is going to be able to do what Orpher did uh, to the Necromantic team and just... Um, mm. I mean, well, actually, it was the undead team, but, but we're looking at two mighty pieces that are mighty blow tackle. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the thing you can, if you can do that to this team, the yeah. same way that uh, Orford did to that undead team. Right, and just like, gets a lot less scary. Yeah, totally. Yeah, because there's a lot of, and the Skaven had this problem. There's a lot of blodge and blodge step. Um, I know Blue said there wasn't a problem knocking them down, but there's still like with the sidestep pieces. There were a couple of close moments where the Skaven just needed one last block or even didn't get it and tried to da dodge out. Uh, I think, yeah, I think offense is going to be tough for the Necro uh, against a, at least a full troop of High Elves. If anything less, I guess we have a shot. Yeah. Um, they've got, what, four? Is that 40k coming their way? Yep. Assuming a normal level on Jimmy Fallon. Mm. Hmm. There's zombies are getting... A lot of development there. Yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah, if it's 40, I mean, I don't know if you even spend the 10 for a babe. Yeah. I, guess, I guess maybe. You it's might. You might. Value. Like, you're not that worried about losing so much that yeah. you need a bunch of cash lying around, I would think. Mm -hmm. And so why not? Yeah. Yeah, uh, so yeah, I think this slightly favors the high elves, honestly, but uh, but yeah. I think it'll be close. Cool. Uh, moving on to the next one. Oh, uh, this is the one that's happening right now, so we don't have to go too much into it. But this is yeah, very beat up scurry squad. Uh, versus Warpstone and Rock and Roll. I think this is their chance to make something happen. They have to deal with Stanton de Classimo, though. And they're gonna have to. And they're probably gonna have to deal with the wizard. Yeah, definitely gonna deal with the wizard. Um. Hmm. Yeah. So that that does put them up against it a little bit. Because again, yeah. again, you don't want Underworld giving up TV. Or giving up, yeah, inducements. Yeah. So, but I don't know. Those two blitzers are really nice and really suited for this match. Yep. So, I'll be interested to see it. Yeah. Let's see if uh, the fifth meet can uh, <laughs> can live on in uh, Stormy's place. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Cool. Yeah, definitely made him more efficient. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, cool. Uh, moving on to... I think this match is going to start very shortly, if it hasn't already. That's um, what it sounded like. Yeah, Practical Snow and Super Bases uh, match. And... Uh, well, this is... Um, I like the how the chart is graphing two different paths... <laughs> Yeah, for these two teams right now, um, we're dead in scoring. Started out so strong, and it's been kind of trickling downwards. Uh, they really need to see. They really need to. Uh, oh, right after the recap, cool. Um, I think this come around for them. They really need a win here to like get back into the hunt. Yes, uh, and one one point of suggestion I would say, having seen seen this undead team play before, is. Consider ignoring the wizard, despite mm. getting 150. I do not know it will do much for you against this team. I would yeah. think I bribe and, I mean, you really only want 100 for the bribe, but like a bribe and a babe. Yeah. Yeah, the bribe, yeah, definitely bribe to like, get some of these expensive pieces on the ground. Brown, bribe and stab. Hmm. Is stab cheap? What is... Oh wait, it's wait. Both teams yeah. get a bribe. They're at the uh, oh, true. They are in the ref start. Wait, then you get a second bribe. <laughs> eh, stab could be good. Stab could be good. Uh, yeah, that's talking about. Um, oh wait, is that the one? He had a he had a last gets match. Tossed. Uh, yes, he is a he is a um a secret weapon. Stab. That's yeah. That's uh Sinbad, yeah. um, who's yeah got stabbed, but a secret weapon, um, and he's eighty k. 
Alibaba. <laughs> Wait. There's two different versions. There's two different names of him. They call him oh. Ali Babad in the client. In the rule book, it's Sinbad, and that's oh. why I was. Oh, look at you! There we go. Um, so yeah, yeah, you could 80K. do that. You could just like throw away the 40k to get to 150. That's that we I assume that for that 150. Oh yeah, he's number. throwing away the 40. Yeah. But um, you then you could then spend the extra 30 and do a bribe in that guy, and mm. just stab some 87. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. Um, I like it. Yeah, that could. Yeah, this could be. This could be fun because, uh, I mean, we've said it. Super Race plays. Uh, doesn't play scared of Bash, and so uh, be interested to see like how that how that plays out in the scrum. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. yeah, this could be big for both of them. Uh, obviously, Super Base wants to keep pace with Orifer, and uh... yeah, he needs to be just hanging in there, waiting for the Dark Elves to stumble. Yeah, yeah, totally. Cool. Yeah, so looking forward to checking that out after this. And I think that brings us. Is this the uh, last one? Uh, two more after this. Okay. Well, this one. Oh, two more after. Okay. This one's already been played, so we don't need to say too much. Yeah, yeah. Be, you know, 350, uh, though. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, you got, you know, on the right, uh, second season, Chaos. On the left, third season, Chaos, I think. <laughs> yes. Um, or, but yeah. that's, that's, but that's beat up. Yeah. Um, and we'll, yeah, we'll talk about how that went next week. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, oh yeah, and then here's Orifer giving up 550 to Rebel, Rebel Rage Quit. Which you can live with, right? Because once you're yeah. giving him the bribe, or like the second bribe, then like yeah. the remaining 350 is not worth as much. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious what we'll see for that. Yeah, yeah. And you gotta be happy that uh, Orabi's out of this match. Uh, yes. How nice for our division leader. <laughs> he gets the one yeah. where, where one That's of the scariest so pieces of the div is not gonna get to take the field. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, hmm. I'm trying to think if they get, I was going to say, do they get a blocker Merc with like Mighty Blow or something? You could do that. You could do, yeah, Mighty Blow. You could do Guard if you just want more of that. Um, I don't know if they need more Guard in this match. Maybe not. But uh, I mean, Orifer does does bash. But, yeah, 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 yeah. But you but already that's true. he's only got one guard piece. Yep. You already got three, three of them. Yeah, you already got three, three guard attached to stand firm, as well as other skills. Um, I don't know. It would just it would seem to be in the theme of Robbie to just get another piece with mighty blow. It would certainly yeah fit. Um, it's, or the question is, is going to be some like star player or something that's better because I don't. Yeah, you know, he's uh, just got so much. Yeah. I, you don't usually, I don't know. I feel like Chaos Dwarves are generally pretty high TV and you don't normally see them picking from the top right. of the litter. Um, I know there's that one, I think it's a secret weapon guy that has like a gun, uh, but he doesn't use it to shoot people. He uses it to like throw the, shoot the ball essentially. Yeah, that, that, there's that, some that, shit. Which like is that. like, oh yeah, it's like Mad-Eye or something, which is not a good start player at all. Yeah. And so, they, yeah, they don't have anything cheap. And Yeah, it'd be, it'd be more like with 550, it's like, do you do two bribes and then say you got 350 and get, like, Grashnak, who's a strength six minnow. Oh. Hmm. Um, yeah, or maybe. do you get, um, uh, what was it? There's, like, his Thark the Unstoppable, who's lock, break, tackle, juggernaut, sprint, sure feet, thick skull. Like, he's strength five, bull centaur. <laughs> that guy, that comes in, that's that's yeah. 330. Yeah. Um, like, I would, I would think you might do that. Oh my gosh, I want to see this. Uh, Super Race saying Mad Eye has the best foul animation in the game. Interesting. I really want to see what that is. Somebody has to have put that up on YouTube somewhere. I'll look for that. Um, I love uh, Some of the animations are like, yeah, really interesting to see. I think I've talked about like the vampire one being pretty interesting for foul. And, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> I mean, the, the Hobgoblin already has a great foul animation, so... Yeah. In fact, they get another piece that does it. Yeah. Oh well, you, that, and that, you don't get that, right? You have three three dirty player pieces. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. You don't just do it for the animation unless 
Yes, unless we were streaming this, in, in which case I would want to see it. Yeah. Shoots people in a foul. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so good. And so ridiculously specific. Uh, cool. Yeah, well, I think I think Orpher wins this. Obviously, we talk about you can win against these maniac dwarf uh, teams, but at what cost? I am curious because... Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of general use pieces that remaining rebels have. They don't have too many pieces that don't do anything. So this will apparently be next Wednesday at six thirty CST. Oh wow! So okay, well, last matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it, it'll, it'll 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 make it hard for other people to play matches before the <laughs> before the recap. Next week. Yeah. yeah, so thank you. I appreciate that. That's really great. But yeah, the the the, the biggest question we guess, I think we're looking for is does this damage or for enough to yeah to change the rest of the season more than we're expecting a loss i don't think so i mean yeah i'd be surprised yeah i think they may lose a piece or two for the i mean we'll see we'll see right but yeah he could he could afford to there are things he could that be ashamed to lose but that he yeah. could still afford mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah his yeah his development spread pretty thickly so it's i think it'll be it'll be a good spot yep all right and oh, I forgot. Last match. I, oh, I completely forgot that we haven't talked about my match. Uh, because, yes, I. Huh, well, the battle of the 11 and the 12 spot. Yep. That could be uh, something. Though I think my 12 spot is pretty ill deserved. <laughs> Uh, perhaps <laughs> it feels it feels a little bit worse now that like there's a replacement team. Oh, be like, well, well, everyone gosh. eventually is going to get that. Like yeah. except for, like the first few teams, it's like, oh, okay, now now it's like, wow, <laughs> yeah. hand it to the recapper. Yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, who is then for his part giving up 340 and in inducements <laughs> while at, while at the Nuffle altar. It's <laughs> so actually it'll actually be 350, I'm sure, because I assume we'll see the the bomber, bomber. take the field. Uh, I might. Mm, I need to look at the rest of my schedule. Yeah. If I don't have the altar for any more bash matchups, I think I do because that's why I've kept it this long. I think I do have it for a couple of bash. But you might just get rid because you can't replace it. Yeah. 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 No. I. I don't have. I mean, there's nothing else that you really want for Norse. Is the thing. I. I forget what somebody. I mean, I don't like the surfing one because I get. I'll probably get counter surfed as much as I surf. I've only surfed yeah. once. I mean, and it killed a killed a piece so I, do, I don't I'm hate elf turf on the grounds that um you're 87 so when you fall over it feels really bad mm -hmm. no that's true that would, that would also be annoying to look at so i, lo I like that <laughs> I, I like the way i like the way elf oh turf yeah i meant for yeah mostly for other people but yeah um just yeah trying to push my team towards re-rollsville um yeah i don't know i think I, I will have to look at that because that is a lot uh, and they could get some pretty good well they're gonna take a wizard for sure so that leaves 190 after that yeah I guess that gives them two good stars or decent stars probably yeah I mean that gives you because Glart is um, Glart's 210 normally so he goes down yeah. to 160 he would have 30 left over that that means you get an 80k piece right yeah. effectively and yeah. for and you can't quite do 80. The cheapest is Fez glitch at 100. So actually, yeah. he probably only gets the one. Okay, okay. Because huh. Skitter's 160, you know, like yeah. 110 after. Mm -hmm. Like, that, you're not going to pump that much money. Well, he doesn't have that money. He's got 10. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. So, eh, it's probably one good start player. Yeah, maybe maybe I just keep it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, this will be... We've got uh, no one turners on this team, so that's something. That's nice. Um, but they you do have a match without a natural one turner in it. Yeah. No. Yeah, you're right. Uh, uh, yeah, Finn Colby coming back is gonna be pretty annoying, um, and Arthur Colby's pretty beastly. And John Colby the second is of course new. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, they've been trying to bring this back. So uh, yeah, so we'll see. I don't. Yeah. I think I can probably hurt some things. I don't know that I can get the win. Yeah. It is not. I have not proven that I can at this point against these agility teams. So True enough. Uh, or against a wizard and yeah. 
ridiculous movement pieces. So, um, yeah, I don't have this one scheduled yet. I guess I need to reach out to random Maximus and see. Uh, but yeah, it'll, it'll be a fun match either way. Um, seems like a good coach, and uh, I don't know. Just gonna unlo unlock my own Arabi, I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pile on every time. Every time. I would think so. Yeah. So I'll do it once, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Um, cool. Well, I think that does it. Yep. Uh, for the recap this week, but uh, thank you all for joining us and chiming in in chat as always. It's a mm -hmm. big. Uh, yeah. Uh, it means a lot. Keeps this thing fresh for us. Um, uh, apologies for not getting the recording up. I had uh, some technical difficulties with it, given that my internet failed in the middle of the stream last week. So, just had to piece things together a little bit. Um, but yeah, we should be back on for Thursday next week. Um, thanks to Kodiak for joining me this week again, as always. Right, here. And. Um, <laughs> Best team in Rebel title. Huh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's saying good luck. Oh, the, you're facing against, um, uh, what is the best team in Rebel? Oh, title? right, right. Um, it's, uh, Dazed and Confused. Oh, okay. The Rebel team is apparently the best team in Rebel. Yes. Man, that'd be fun if you can get that. Um, it does have a very good ball carrier pass to court. Double agility increase. Blodge, oh, sure hands. Oh, God. That is pretty good. <laughs> Doesn't have much else, though. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, excited to hear. Um, Mr. Nurgle has guard and nothing else. Oh, jeez. Like a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> I say. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Like, I'm going to give up, like, you yeah. know, every Some great star player and a bunch of bribes. <laughs> just get absolutely slaughtered. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing, yes, your smack talk uh, <laughs> next recap. Um, and seeing if you still got that swagger, um, but yeah, so it would be it would be pretty exciting if you if you brought home the belt, um, yeah, at least for a week. Do it again. Yeah. Cool. Uh, well, yeah. Thanks all, and um, thanks for those of you holding off until after the stream. I will uh, try to, yeah, I'll shift things over to. I assume Practical Snow is going to be streaming. I'll shift things over to that as we wrap up. But yeah, thanks again. Have a good night. And we'll see you all next week. Let's see if I can get this. They won't double skull. Robbie's gonna bless. <laughs> the balls God go damn. In. <laughs> well, okay, I think we found our clip to the bench. I piece with the ball in if, the if, Yeah, but if this is just doing some big damage. Oh man.